Bomb the dang, the dang, the giddy giddy. Karubu, I don't care when you bomb the dang, the dang. Hi guys, it's MTFC Editor here, and today I'm here with an Inter Milan career mode. Roberto Mancini, ex Manchester City manager. I've actually simmed the first season and transferred all the players that I think Inter had signed already to the club. So it's like starting a career on FIFA 16 already. So it's a little bit different. I won't be signing too many players, but I'll be signing a few. So it's just like when you're playing FIFA 16, when you start a new career mode on there when it first comes out. So just looking for my team now, just um. I've got some offers some players which I'm going to get and I need to loan list a lot of these young players that aren't going to be playing. I don't know how long I'm going to carry on this career for. For the Manchester City one I'm actually thinking of going on for quite a while until FIFA 16 comes out. But for this one I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Actually and I'm really enjoying it at the moment. So we're just going to transfer list and yeah to the season loan. We've got great midfielders to be honest. You know we've got Condogbia, Imbula, there's, there's too many, you know, and Hernanes is there. I don't really play him a lot, but we've got other ones like Gary Medell. He's a, the pit bull, as they call him. He's absolutely, you know, he just runs through everyone. He tackles everyone. He just doesn't give in, and I really like him. So Pereira, it seems like he's out for a two long, two season long loan, which, you know, I'd, I'd, I'd have liked to sell him, but I can't. So just going to sim forward now. So, yeah, I don't know how long this one's going to go on for. But I have got some transfer targets. When the scout reports come back, I will show you my shortlist. Now, there's been a lot of offers for Nagatomo, you can see. The left mid. I, I like to play him left back. He's got a lot of pace. and He's quite a good player. And in the first season I simmed, it, we finished third in the league. I didn't do anything, just simmed it straight. And Nagatomo managed to score 20 goals. And became second top goal scorer in the Serie A. So that was very expected for a left midfielder. I don't know if they started playing him maybe left wing or forward. As maybe as a striker. I'm not really sure where his position is. But there's a lot of transfer offers for him. And I thought 6.5 million I would be happy with. And no one seems to be offering him that at the moment. He is a good player. And he's 28. He's a backup left back. I see him as that. We do need to buy a left back, I think. We have got Dodo, who I thought was only on ro loan from Roma, but now he's actually there. So, we've got a choice between him and Dodo. Maybe Dodo will just be a reserve. But a lot of teams came in for Nagatomo, and when I looked at his stats, I thought, maybe we should keep him. I mean, I think he's got 92 acceleration, 90 sprint speed, and that's very good for a left midfielder. I don't think his defensive stats were the best, but he can play left back. And I like a pacey left back who likes to go forward. I always go on instructions and put always overlap because I don't want a defensive team. You know, you want to play good, attractive football. And I think that's what we can do with players at Nagatomo. My left back options you will be seeing soon. Well, there's some of the scouting reports coming back with some of the players. And another bid for Nagatomo. Still, we're just going to reject that because they're not going to go for him. There's some of the scouting reports are back. We're not going to look at them yet until they're all back. And you'll see the players on my shortlist. I've picked three positions I want to sign players in. I've picked a right midfielder, a left back, and a striker. The most important I feel at the moment is a left back because Nagatomo and Dodo don't really fill up to the standards I want. Then a striker because we've only got Acardi and Palacio and Palacio's getting on a bit. I think a good quality striker or a third choice one because I still want Acardi to get game time. He's only young. And then lastly, my least wanted position that I need to fill is winger. Because we have got Mohamed Salah, we have got Jordan Shakiri, and we have got, who I'm playing on the left wing, I think plays best in left wing when I saw him play for Montenegro, is Steven Jovetic. So you see we're selling quite a couple of players here. We don't need a lot of the players in the team. I, I had a look on line actually, they they're obviously not all on the actual career, but Inter Milan have got so many players out on loan, it's it's untrue. And it seems that a lot of Italian teams have so many players out on loan. So they're uh, Chelsea and Falcao in talks. Well, all the loan, loan this guy out and all the Sky reports are back. So we are going to go to my shortlist in a minute. And we're going to have a look at these, so just delete them now. 
and we'll go across to our shortlist. So here we are. So the first player is Alex Tells. Now he's got great pace and he's got good defending. He's, you know, all around. He seems like an all around player. He's quite green. His strength isn't so good. Then we've got Alexander Kolarov, who is my first pick out of them three out of Adriano, Alex Tells, and Alexander Kolarov. Now, if you just look at him, I mean, 89 crossing says it all. The shot power, the free kicks, he has everything. He's actually injured at the moment, but that doesn't bother me. Then Adriano, who's last. If I can't get Kolarov and then I can't get Alex Tells, then I will go for Adriano. Then, for my right midfielders, we've got Eric Lamella. He is my third choice again. He's got good stats. And Tor is someone I've never signed before, and he is the next one. He is second choice, but first is Quadrado. But he seems to be very expensive. The one I'd like to go out of the most is Tor, because I've never played with him before. And for strikers, we've got firstly Mario Balotelli. I think he can replace Rodrigo Palacio. Brilliant, you know, brilliant player. And I'd probably get him cheap. He is better than Immobile, but you know. And then Daniel Pablo Osvaldo is someone I can see as a third choice striker. I quite like him. Now, I know he has played for Inter already once this season, uh, last season in the game, obviously. So I'm going to offer a season loan and about 8 million. He's worth 5.5. We'll offer 8 million. 20% on loan. He has been loaned around quite a bit and he's known for his bad boy attitude, but I like him. I think he's a good player. I've seen him play. I remember Manchester City being ruined with him a couple of years ago and we picked Negredo over him. But, you know, pe people say that was a good option because look how good Negredo was. Even though he stopped in after six months, he kind of went off the boil. But Osvaldo, when I've seen him play, he's been good. See Handanovic gone to 86 overall. He won't be going to Juventus. I won't be letting that happen in. But Daniel Osvaldo, what a player he is. Jovetic there, we won't be selling him. He can score over head kicks, we know. And I think as a backup to Icardi, it would be brilliant. And I do... I do have kind of a, I won't say a soft spot for him, that's a, not the right thing, but I do really like him. I used to always buy him on career mode because of, you know, I think he's got 80, in the high 80s of agility, so he can score some really spectacular goals. And here we have Southampton have replied and said they don't, can't agree to it, they don't want to loan him out this time. We're going to go to transfer offer, well, they did offer 8, so we're not going to get that, we are going to offer 4, that's under his value but we'll see i always want to really offer under the value to see if sometimes you can get a bargain but not always they they usually say no you see they want 7.5 million for daniel pablo as well though i'm gonna offer 5 million but yeah 5.5 that, that's his base value we'll go with that let's see if he can actually say that's that's what he wants Arsenal have signed Ramaron from PSG, 25.5 million. Now he's a free agent that I would have liked to sign probably. But um, here we are, we're selling Kuzmanovic. This room is him going to Watford. The, him and Dabadi Sanson have been offered there. I didn't actually know Sanson was only on loan. I, I did actually want to keep him in the team, but I see no need for him if we can get top left back. We've still got Nagatomo and Dodo there if we get top left back. We did finish third in the league last year, so we will be going into a Champions League qualification, I think. And there we can see we sold Obi. And they still want 7.5 for him. That's the price they want. We'll go with we'll go with maybe 6.5, 6 million. Uh 6.5 should I hope they can do that. If not, we may go seven after that and then 7.5. But he is a player, you know, I'm thinking. Is he worth all the money? As a third choice, second choice striker? Maybe. He's another player that's been out on loan last season. We don't need him. He's never going to play a game for us, so off he goes. And we've actually sold a couple of players now. So yeah, that's three we've sold now. So we get a bit of money for them, and uh, it'll go to our, our budget. Now we can see our Champions League qualifying games are against Aberdeen. Yes, um, Aberdeen trying to qualify for the Champions League. Well, I think maybe they would be um, with Celtic, and they would... You know, Celtic are usually in that position, Champions League qualifying. Aberdeen are there. We're going to offer 7 million for Osvaldo. We hope we can get him for that. That's 500k under what they want. But yeah, we're, we're off, uh, we've got Aberdeen. And they must have won the Scottish League. And that's why we've got them over Celtic. Because Cel Celtic are usually that team that play in the Champions League qualifier. I think we can beat them. <laughs> I really do. I don't think they're going to be the hardest team to play, to be honest. They seem 
I don't know. Well, Southampton have come back, and they said they want the 7.5. We're just going to have to bid that, aren't we? There's um, <laughs> no option. They're holding out for that, so we're going to do it. I do want him, and I think he'll be pretty good. But yeah, for Aberdeen, we should beat them. I think they have um, a ginger striker up front called Rooney, who's supposed to be quite good. I had, I had a couple of people tell me that when they you know, had bronze cards or whatever, something like that, an ultimate team, that he actually scores some good goals. He's quite strong and he's a good player, so we'll see. I don't know if it's the brother of Wayne Rooney. If he is, I will definitely hate him more than I should be doing. But anyone to do with Rooney, I don't really like, let's be honest. As a City fan, no one likes Rooney. But we're going to make a bid for Tory. I think that's how you say it, Tor. And we're going to we'll offer under his value 9.5 million. I think they'll want quite a lot. You see there, you know, 32.5, I think it was. And I'm going to offer for Alexander Kolarov. He's fit in eight days. I'm going to offer, yeah, we'll offer his base of 6 million. Now, he's just currently a squad rotation player. So if we can offer him crucial first team football, which he will be getting, then I think he'll definitely accept that. Getting closer to the Aberdeen game, and Southampton are accepted a 7.5 million offer for Daniel Pablo Osvaldo. And we're going to offer him three years, and I'm not going to offer him a squad role because I don't know what he's going to play yet. I think he'll be quite important to our season because if Ricardi's not there, I'll play him. And I don't really know much about Palacio, I've only seen him play a couple of times. I've never actually played with him on FIFA, so we'll find out there. Now, Kolarov, they want 9 million, we're going to offer 8.5, but. It seems to be teams are sticking out for these, you know, prices that they want at the moment. The same with Osvaldo, probably come back with Kolarov the same. And we've got another loan offer yet. Yeah, 17-year-old, 60 overall left back. He could be all right in the future. You never know. Besiktas, they want more for tour. We're gonna offer. We'll offer 12.5 or 12. Is that his base? Yeah, we'll offer 12. That's his base. We'll see if you know his value. Is what you can get them for. Usually, you have to pay a lot more than that. So we're coming up to the Aberdeen game now. Will we have Osvaldo for the game? We're about to find out. And Osvaldo has accepted. We've got enough Gundog beer, which we're going to reject straight away. We have got Osvaldo accepting the contract, but should we sign him? I don't know. Should he play in the Aberdeen game? Will he be ready for it? We're just going to have a look at tour here. We're um, going to go to transfer offer and offer him a bit more. But for Osvaldo, well, we won't offer for Tor yet. I don't know about him, but should we sign him? You'll find out in the next episode. Subscribe and hit that like button.